Hey guys, in this video I want to give you my opinion on Bookmap. Um, it is a software package that shows you what the um, candles, sorry, shows you where the liquidity is. Um, I want to give a fair assessment. My intention with this video is not to disparage the software, disparage the company in any way, um, but I wanted to just give you my thoughts on it. So it does work. Let's start with the positives. Uh, it will show you where the liquidity is, which is what the software, uh, what's what it's designed to do. Okay, so it does do that. The software works and it will show you where the liquidity is. Let's get that out of the way. I'm not saying it doesn't work. But I want to tell you uh, that it is not necessary. In my opinion, you do not need it. Um, it is extraneous, superfluous, and unnecessary. And, and let me tell you why. So in this industry, there, there are groups of people and companies that are called lead market makers, and they are liquidity providers. They provide liquidity um, at certain extremes of the marketplace. Okay, so let me show you something. Let's get here on the NASDAQ, and let's talk about, let's talk about the, uh, Let's talk about the NASDAQ. Okay. Let me just hide the book map one. Okay. So, guys, the liquidity is always at the same spot, and you don't need book map to see it. There is liquidity here, there is liquidity here. Uh, because it is their job, it is lead market makers, and it is the liquidity provider's job to be above highs and lows. And so they're always there, always. There was liquidity here, there's liquidity up there, there's liquidity down there, and there was liquidity here. What does that mean? That is where the stop orders are. That is where the stop orders from larger institutions, um, hedge funds, pension funds, insurance companies, Goldman Sachs, their stop orders and, and retail traders as well. They're always at the same exact spot. They're above old highs and they're below old lows. Always, guys. They're always there. Always. You don't need Bookmap to see it because they're always there. In fact, you could say it is their professional job to be there, and so they are there. Uh, if you want to know where the liquidity is, look where, where's the, where are the highs and where are the lows, and that's where it is, guys. So what does it mean to be liquidity. It's where stop orders reside. So above every low, every low, there are sell stops. That's why we call it sell stop liquidity. And above every high, there are buy stops. Okay, let me explain to you why. Why are there buy stops in this top blue box? Why? Because everyone who went short throughout this entire leg is using that 15 minute high to place a buy stop. And if not, they're trailing the stop down. Okay, but usually they're up there. There are stops up here. Okay? There are stops down here. And there were stop orders triggered when the market went one tick below that low and that low there. Because they're always there. They're always there. This, you don't need Bookmap to know that. You don't. You really don't. I believe that Bookmap is a software that works, but I think it's very distracting. I think that when it starts screaming, Iceberg Oda, Iceberg Oda, Iceberg Oda. I think it's very distracting. If you want to focus, if you want to achieve a level of mastery, I don't think that you should have something screaming, Iceberg Oda, Iceberg Oda. No, I don't agree with that. Um, I think it's very distracting. I think the large bubbles on the chart are distracting, uh, and, and it's a crutch. It, guys, it, you have to know market mechanics. Like There are lead market makers that have limit orders below every low, and every high and there are retail and institutional stops stop orders below every low and above every high that that's where they are guys they're always there always that's how the market works they're always there the problem with something like a book map is number one it's distracting okay iceberg order iceberg who cares number two guys the number two the number two bit is that it's unnecessary. It's not telling you anything that that the chart is not telling you. And this, you know, they're check what candlesticks are hiding. Guys, they're not hiding. <laughs> they're not hiding at all. 
That's this is kind of silly, right? Their their whole punchline of check what the candlesticks are hiding. No, they're not hiding anything. They're not hiding. They're always there, guys. Look, even on their little like, look, even on their example. Look, look, it's above that high. Oh, shocker! There's orders above the high. Even in their example. Look at where the liquidity is. It's above that high. It's there. It's always there. It's always there. Always. Without like, because it's, that, that's their job. That's liquidity providers and lead market makers. It is their job to be there. That is why they are there. Okay? They are there. They are always there. They are there to provide liquidity to the market. They are liquidity providers and they are always there. So that when you have a stop order above there, the market doesn't run another 50 points. That's why they're there, guys. So, no, you don't need Bookmap. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't work. Let me be very clear. It does work. But I believe that it, it is superfluous, extraneous, unnecessary. Look, look, watch it. Watch it. See? There it is. It's always there, guys. You don't need Bookmap to see it. Okay. So back onto the candlestick chart, back onto the naked price chart. Where's the where are the sell stops? Right there. Where's more sell stops? Where are buy stops? Where were the buy stops here? They're always there. Where are the buy stops here? They're right there. They're always there, guys. This almost looks kind of like book map, right? When you draw the boxes out, like it kind of looks like book map. Well, why is that? Because they're always there. <laughs> always the market runs to liquidity the market sweeps liquidity it is attracted to orders so the market will run against liquidity it will run against the sell stops that are here it will probably run against the sell stops that are here it ran the buy stops that were up here see that it ran that it ran the buy stops that were up here see it swept it went above it okay you don't need bookmap to see that, guys. Come on, you really don't. It, they're always there. They're always there, okay? And you don't need bookmap to see it. And iceberg order, iceberg order. Silly, guys, come on now, it's silly. It's really silly. The, where were the stops? Right there, guys. They were buy stops right there, right there. There they were. See the market pushed into it and ran against it. Why does it do that? Smart money, so to speak, they're long down here. They exit up here and they're using your stop order as a counterparty. Every trade needs a counterparty, right? So look, they ran the sell stops, they swept the sell stops, and then they ran the buy stops. Sell stops, buy stops, sell stops, buy stops. I'm gonna blow your mind now. There's liquidity down here. There are sell stops down here, people that went long down here. Now, what? who are those people? They're people playing with the client's money. They're banks, they're hedge funds, they're mutual funds, they're insurance companies. They're there, they're sitting there, professional traders that have been holding on and they're betting that the market's gonna continue to go up. They're not, market doesn't care about your pathetic small order, it cares about big money. Okay, it's not running against you it's running against big money. Here's, guess where there's stops? Right there. Guys, there's more stops down here too. Stops here, stops here. Now, we both know that your account and my account, if we tried to hold on trades that long, we'd just be liquidated, right? We wouldn't. It wouldn't even make it down there. You'd already be liquidated. But imagine you're a bank. Imagine if you're playing with the client's money and you got endless cash. You got millions and millions and millions of dollars. You can hold on to these things for a long time. Lots of drawdown. They don't care. It's the client's money. They don't care. So, look, there's sell stops here, sell stops here, sell stops here, sell stops down here. Why are they sell stops? Because they're long and their stop orders are below these lows. Because that's what they're taught to do. Okay? They are quote unquote professionals that trade with clients' money. All right? So they don't care. They don't. It doesn't matter to them. It's clients' money. So where's the stop? Where's the liquidity? There it is. It's right there. Don't need bookmap to see it, guys. So 
Uh, use bookmap if you want. I'm not saying don't use it. I'm not saying the software doesn't work, but you don't need it. Bye.